Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and this is Manny. I recently got a new addition to my sewing room. It is the Baby Lock Crescendo. It has a never miss automatic needle threader. It has a very large LCD touch screen so you can easily select your stitches. It also has an automatic sensor pin and guide beam so you can tell the machine exactly where you want to stitch. And what's really great is it has 573 built-in stitches. One of the viewer questions I get asked frequently is, what kind of sewing machine should I buy and what kind of sewing machine do you use? When you're looking at purchasing another sewing machine, you need to first look at what kind of sewing do you do now and what kind of sewing do you hope to learn about? What do you want to achieve? If you're new at sewing and you've not sewn at all or very, very little, you don't want to start with a high-end machine. Baby Lock does offer a lot of entry-level sewing machines, so you don't have to select this really high-end sewing machine. But those of you who want to move up a few levels, this is a great machine to select. So what kind of sewing do I do? Well, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I make some clothing, tote bags, a lot of novelty projects. I also love table linens. I make a lot of table runners and pot holders. But my favorite type of sewing is quilting. So why did I select this machine? Number one reason is ease of use. So let me demonstrate just how easy it is to thread that needle. You thread this machine just like you would any other sewing machine. There's really nothing different. And then of course you always put it uh, at this little uh, bracket here that guides it down towards your needle. Instead of going to the eye of the needle, you just pull it up across this little piece right here. Let me get it across. Then there's a little bracket up here off at the side. You pull it across that. You pull on it and it cuts the thread. And then there's a little button over here at the top of the machine. It has a needle with thread going through it. And you push it and it threads the machine. How cool is that? Another feature that I like about this machine is that if you run out of bobbin thread while you are working on a project, you don't have to unthread the machine and then rethread it to wind your bobbin. It has another spool holder over here where you can wind up your bobbin. It's real easy to set it up and then on the screen, on your LCD screen, it has a start button. You press that and it winds up the bobbin. Then once your bobbin is filled, you just pop that new bobbin in and continue sewing. This sewing machine has a full range of utility stitches, such as your straight stitch. You can even move the needle to the left or right, which is a great feature. Blind hemming stitches, there's several. Basting stitch, and as you can see, many different zigzag stitches. And also, it has, let me go to this, a variety of buttonhole stitches. And if you're a quilter, you've got lots of decorative stitching you can use on quilts, especially if you like to do crazy patch quilts. And if you're a quilter, you can do applique stitching and free motion stitching. There are many different character stitches here too, and you can do lettering. So here I printed out uh, a little example for you. So it's nice lettering and when you go into it you have different letter styles and you even have foreign languages on there. Now I don't know what they all are. I know one of them is, is probably Chinese and another one is Russian. 
it has many different presser feet and several of the presser feet that I'm really surprised are included because you don't get a lot of presser feet on other types of machines. It comes with a quarter inch foot with a little guide bar so that you get perfect quarter inch seams. Also, it comes with a walking foot, also called a dual feed foot. And this is a wonderful foot. It's really high class and you don't have to pay extra for it. All this is included. Another thing that I really think is great is this. You have this extra large extended table that snaps in. And here is this really large open area here. This is a little over 11 inches, which I thought on my old machine, I had a large space. This is much bigger, so if you're a quilter, you can easily push your quilts through. This is the Baby Lock sensor pin. One of the functions of this sensor pin is it helps you to keep your decorative stitching, in fact, even your straight stitches, on the straight. So you would select a stitch and a light beam will appear. So I don't know if you can see it here. There it is right there. So here is the light beam. I'm hoping you can see it. And here is one of my guide marks. So I can use the guide mark plus focus on this light beam, keeping it in the center of the presser foot. So you don't look at the needle. You just look at that light beam and making sure that it is centered. One of the problems with doing decorative stitching is keeping it centered. So this light beam is really beneficial if you love doing decorative stitching. Another very helpful feature that is on this machine is the plastic cover over the bobbin case. You can change these covers out one of the covers has the markings in inches. So here is your center line here. This is the quarter inch line. And this is the 5 eighths inch line if you like to sew clothing. This little dash line here, this is if you want to move your needle over to the left side. And this line way over here, I don't think you could see it on the camera, but this is a 1 inch line. A while back, I did a video on the Sewing and Quilting Center of Southern Utah in St. George. And remember, I had some quilts I took in that I got long arm quilting done. Well, in that video, I briefly showed you a little clip of the sewing machines that they had in there. Well, I went back for a visit and because I knew they had quilt fabric and I was looking at the quilt fabric kind of glanced over at the machines and finally I went over because one in particular caught my eye which was this crescendo and they took the time to explain to me some of the features on it and I was really impressed and I went home and thought about it for a week and we went back again I looked at it again they gave me another demonstration and I thought about it and thought about it and I thought, okay, um, I'm gonna get it. So I was really happy I bought it. Here's some of the reasons why I bought it. They offer on-site service. So they'll make, clean it for you, repair it. They also have training classes right there. So if you needed service, you just stop by and say, Hi to Ken the Repairman. He's a really nice guy. Very, very reliable. I've had no issues with him at all so far. I've been very happy with the repairs. Also on the training, if you buy your machine, you get a series of training classes which come included in the price, which I'm very happy about because on this machine, I get four training classes and they're approximately two hours long which is really great because on my old machine when I bought it I got one really short class and learned just a couple of things 
and then that was it. After that, I had to pay extra for all the training classes. So I was a little disappointed in that. So with this one, I haven't taken my first training class yet. I start next week, and there are four that I can take. Now you can still get training on a machine you didn't buy there, but you do have to pay a fee for the class. If you're interested in viewing that other video that I did a while back, click on the link in the upper right hand corner of your screen. I think you'll find it real interesting and you'll see all of the things that I was just talking about. Also, if you're interested in learning how to sew and viewing some of my other videos that I have made, such as this little oven mitt here that you see, real easy project to do, play this video to the very end where you're going to see a green screen appear and you'll see four different links appear up on the screen. Just click on one of those and it'll take you directly to one of my videos. If you like this video, please click on thumbs up and also click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that button in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget, don't forget to click on the little bell, enter your email address so you receive email notifications about my latest video. If you're not receiving those notifications for some reason, go to your cell phone or iPad, click on settings, and turn notifications in the on position. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny. So glad you came to my sewing room. See you next time and happy sewing.